Hello there, friends. Welcome back to Vintage Story. It's a beautiful day here in the world. I have been so busy. I have gotten so many things done since last time. I don't even remember where we left off last time, to be honest. But uh, I got a lot to show you, folks. First of all, over here, I built a little structure. This was another area where there were some ruins, and I had my, uh, my bees over here, and I thought, well, the bees deserve a little house, too. So I took a whole bunch of quartz, I went mining for quartz, uh, and I made some glass. And I have filled this place up with bees. It's covered in bees is what it is. It's covered in bees. These ones aren't covered in bees yet, but they will be in a couple of days. So I've got a whole bunch of skeps. Uh, my goal is to get just tons of honey and tons of beeswax for making candles. So that's just my little, my little structure here. Uh, and that's my bees. I think the inside of here is about the same as before. I don't think I've really changed anything in here. I don't think so. Uh, but some stuff has changed in here. My little shack. I do I do like my little shack here. Uh, downstairs, in the bottom of the little shack, we got all kinds of stuff now. Um, it was pointed out that you can put eight of these crocs on a shelf. I actually didn't realize that. I thought you could only put four. So thank you to the commenter who let me know that. Uh, somebody asked what you do with jam. I think you just eat it. I think it's just a high fruit uh, nutrition food. I don't think you can use it for cooking or anything like that. It's just, it's just food you put in a bowl when you eat it, I think. Um, but we're up here, I've got onion turnip stew with soybean garnish, and I've got some porridge, a whole bunch of porridge, and these barrels, I love that you can stack the barrels, by the way. Uh, we are now pickling, I have finished pickling my turnips, my ten turnips. Uh, lesson learned, that uh, it takes a long time. So this time I have them completely full, you can only put 50 liters of liquid in a barrel, so it's 50 turnips, 50 carrots, and oh. I got some cured meat in here now, I guess. Throw that in here. There we go. Five cured red meat. That'll stay fresh for 8.7 years. We get some we get some beef jerky. Delicious beef jerky. Sweet. Uh, these ones are making compost. Turns out that if you take 64 rot, which is this stuff in here, which I'm making in my inventory right now, stick it in a barrel and seal it for 20 days, you can get a compost. One piece of compost, which is like a high fertility soil. So, even if you have trouble finding the high fertility soil, you could still make some of your own. I think all of these are full, so now I'm gonna start filling up this one. Uh, basically, I have been just picking as many berries as I can because they seem to go bad the fastest. And then once I get the raw, I stick it in the barrels. So that's that. That's down here. Upstairs. Also made some progress. Close that up. We got farms. We got uh, some pretty good sized farm fields. I've just harvested these actually recently. So they're all they're all just freshly planted now. Uh, but I've got four fields in a, in a square here. These maximum size for one one uh, bucket of water. And I'm um, doing, we got the, the P nutrient here, we get the N nutrient here, and we get the K nutrient here. And I'm rotating them and I've got one that's totally foul. Fallow, not foul, fallow. It's not the same thing. They're different. So this one was the K field, and it is uh, slowly regaining K fertility now. It's at 14 to 15 percent, depending here. Some randomness in it. I'm not sure if this will recover the K in one growth cycle, or if I'm gonna have to do do a full cycle and then leave all four of them fallow for a while. We'll see how that goes. That depends on on what happens. I don't know. And then up here, I've got the same layout. I've got four more fields. These ones. Oh, these ones are finished now. Uh, these had not finished growing when I harvested the rest, so I just let them finish. Uh, but yeah, we got all kinds of stuff growing. All kinds of food. And I now have plenty of food, as you saw in the barrels downstairs. Let me go through these uh, soybeans down in the soybean barrel, in the protein barrel. Soybeans last the longest if you just stick them in one of these uh, vessels. Just totally, totally raw, totally dry. Uh, they'll stay fresh for years. So, yeah. My, my final soybean seed away. And I think the only other thing that I've built is uh, just some steps down into the mine. I have been mining up a lot of granite stone from down here. So I made a little, let me just made a little path. Made a little path. I do still prefer the slabs instead of the steps because of the bumpiness of the steps. Uh, but this is where I've been, this is where I've been harvesting my granite. I'm gonna go back upstairs. Um, I, I, you used to complain a lot about the bumpiness. It does still bother me. The developer is aware of it. Apparently it wouldn't be simple to fix, but it's it's on the list. So that's I'll have to satisfy myself with that as long as it's on the list. And hopefully will be addressed in the future. I was originally saying in Minecraft 
that doesn't happen at all. It's totally smooth, but then I paid more attention. Actually, in Minecraft, it's not totally smooth. It does bump a little bit, but the bumpiness is not nearly as, uh, as severe, and it doesn't slow down your forward motion the way this one does. So... Hopefully that will be fixed at some point. Uh, last thing that I think I've done over here. I have not cut any more rabbits. I gave up. Or hares, I mean. The hares don't seem to be attacking my crops anymore. I have not seen any hares. And I don't know if it's because they're not spawning or if it's because they've been changed that they don't go after your crops anymore. I'm really not sure. Uh, if anyone knows what's up with that, let me know. They were my source of red meat. So now I'm going to have to actually work on animals and stuff at some point. Whenever I see berries fresh, I pick them, by the way. That's how we're getting all that all that rot, and eventually, I'm gonna get uh, lots of lots of nice soil from that. So I've got tons of bushes over here, berry bushes, uh, and I've actually got even more. I went on a long journey. Ooh, ooh, these ones are ripe. Uh, I went on a long journey, and I just picked all the berry bushes I could find. Let's take a moment. Let's just pick some red currants. Always good to just take a moment, pick some berries, and then I'm basically just carrying them in my inventory. Although I probably will leave them in a chest for now because I got plans for today, my friends. Those plans are not to stand around here holding berries and waiting for them to turn into mush. No, it's not. <laughs> That's not the plan. The plan is, let's maybe throw them, let's throw them in here. See, I've got all these other bushes as well. I have to find a spot for them. I'll leave these here. I don't want to leave them in the, in the cellar, of course, because I don't want them to stay fresh. I want them to go bad. I want them to go bad. Uh, you might notice in my inventory... Whole bunch of iron shovels. I've been busy, friends. I told you I've been busy. I also have two iron picks. This one's getting low. This one's got about almost a little more than half durability left. I've got a couple of axes. Uh, the rest of the tools that I might need. Put these in here now that I'm not doing my info. Oh, look how it's a little bit brighter. A little bit brighter, even during the day. Turns out the shadows, the lighting in this game is so beautiful, isn't it? I love it. Anyway, um, I'm going to pick up... Actually, <laughs> take these out of my hand for a moment. I'm going to pick up this and stick it on my back. And I am going to go... You know what, I'm also going to grab a couple of pots of food from down here. I'm going to finally go to that first area that I found with all the big ruins. Let's take one of these and one of these. It's got three servings, it's got two, yeah, that should be enough for now. Because each of these bowls I can eat for quite a while without it going bad. Um, that first area that I found with all the ruins, I'm going to go there and I'm finally going to start digging stuff up. I'm going to need a ton of shovels. I've got one, two, three, four and a half shovels. Iron shovels. Um, and also while I'm over there, I'm actually starting to get low on iron for some reason. <laughs> so I also want to hit the iron mine that's down in that area and see if I can dig up some hematite ore. Which I can then turn into more iron tools. It's, it's, a, it's a vicious cycle. You use the iron tools to mine up the iron to make the more iron tools. It's just how it works. Um, so I'm gonna head over that way. I think I'm probably gonna do the journey off camera Because I don't think there's too much of interest along the way uh, But I will meet you folks over there and we can get started finally digging out some of these ruins and seeing what we could find I'm excited. Oh my the Sun is setting We have still got a little ways to go Drifters will be coming out by the way Folks, it was pointed out to me by one of my patrons. I did a little derp in that uh, mod thing that I that I shared with everyone uh, while I was doing some off-screen work. At one point, the drifters were really getting annoying, and I was just trying to get something done. I wasn't in the mood to to deal with them and to fight with them, so I actually went into the files and just snipped out their attack entirely, so they. Um, Basically, they, they couldn't attack, even if you were walking right up to them. And I forgot to undo that before I made the mod. Oh, it's a, it's a new moon. No wonder it's so dark out. Uh, so as a result, the mod that I put up has drifters that you can just walk right up to them, and they will not attack you even if you hit them. Um, sorry about that, folks. I didn't mean for that to be the case. I only meant to decrease their um, their attack range or their, their range where they would come after you. Uh, so I will be uploading a new mod file along with this video, so look down in the description, you can get that. Uh, if you don't want the drifters to attack you at all, you can go ahead and and just keep using the one that I provided before. Uh, and they can, then they can just be your weird neighbors who, who moan a lot. <laughs> uh, but if you do want to have them in there and just be less challenging, you can use the, the new mod file and replace the old one with that. So, alright, I'm gonna keep walking. It's getting real dark and hard to see. And you know, I talk about how much I like the lighting engine in this game. And how beautiful the lighting is. But man, when it is dark, it is dark, isn't it? 
I cannot see anything outside the radius of my torch. This is really incredible and really kind of terrifying. This just, it's just blackness out there. And I know we're close to where, where the spot was that we're going for. Um, I definitely put torches down, but they might be obscured behind a hill or they might have gone out. I have, I have definitely extended the length of the torches so they last a really long time. But, uh, I may have placed those torches before I made that change. So I'm not sure if we're going to be able to see- Oh yeah, we can, we can! <gasps> Look at that! Look at that! A beacon in the darkness! I'm heading straight for that spot there, and then I will dive straight into bed. You know, I didn't even bring a weapon with me this time. I didn't even think of it. I haven't needed one lately because I, well, I had the drifters basically turned off and I'm in an area where there aren't wolves or anything like that. So I haven't needed a weapon. I'll probably be fine. You can use a, a pick as a weapon. It's not as effective, I don't think, but it will still do damage. I've killed drifters with a pick before, so. Oh, thank goodness. Good morning. The sun is starting to rise. We can see again. <laughs> That was so terrifying, walking in the darkness like that. Oh, man. Alright, what do I need for nutrition here? Doing pretty well. Could use some grain. Use some fruit. Let's do the uh, porridge. Let's do the porridge. Have a bowl of porridge for breakfast. I could heat it up in a campfire, but I don't feel like building one right now. I might not even eat this whole bowl. Oh, wow, yeah, I ate the whole bowl. Alright, let's just eat these berries. I'm not gonna save these. I just picked them along the way. Uh, and it's time to get to work. It's time to get to work. Oh my goodness. So this is this is my little camp that I left before. Uh, I've got an obsidian hoe here and a copper hammer and a copper axe that I left behind. There is an empty clay pot, which I apparently was using for food that I left here. Uh, there is a temporal gear here that I actually got uh, from killing a drifter. And there is some lore stuff that I found in a ruin while I was mining. Uh, actually, I'll keep that. And there's this Resonance Archive Winter, which I don't know what I can do with that. Let's see if I can do anything with that. Um, one of my old baskets. We've got some seeds in here and just a few uh, stones and clay and blocks and stuff. And that's it. That's all I left here. Um, I did leave some... Oh, it's over here. I left some uh, skeps as well. Because I was planning on moving here, so I was kind of leaving things here to, to settle in, to be ready when I came back. So yeah, these will all these will all be populated now, with large harvestable populations. And I've got a farm over here, which is definitely fully grown at this point. I can harvest that at some point if I need to cook some more food. Uh, so we can stay here for quite a while. See, I was making these hair traps. <laughs> it's still, it still tickles me every time I say hair traps. Whoops. A little bit of lag there, I fell down. Um, yeah, I still, I don't see any hairs. I don't know, have they been changed? Do hairs no longer go after your crops? I'm not sure. In any case, we've got plenty of stuff here. Let's take a look at these things that I found in the ruins. This is a book, which I think I can right-click. Yep, I covered a piece of text from writing titled Breakdown. Let's go open my journal with J. Breakdown. Let's do a little dramatic reading. There's one page here, it looks like. Constant clamoring. People shouting. I'm worried. Things were quieter before. We'd almost given up. Nobody spoke, we just desperately worked on the project. But now it's almost time to wake it, and the people are excited. They're too excited. They don't know. They don't understand. I don't even understand it. What have we created? What greater doom have we wrought upon ourselves? We should have all died. Maybe we should all have just died when the rot came for us. I've begun to see things, even when I'm not gazing through the lens. Walking down the halls, looking at the prints, suddenly my vision shifts, and I'm in a world I cannot comprehend. I am in the other world, and it is leaking into this one. I've begun to notice its effect. My creations, cherished by the people and without which this project could never succeed, they're strange to me now. There's something wrong with them. It is the otherworldliness I have given to them. A golem was found two shifts ago with blood and mutilation splattered across its plates. The workmen, they wrote it off as an accident, but I know better. Yeesh, that's creepy. This is lore that I haven't read before. What's this other one? We got a scroll. It's the scroll. Letters. Quartermaster's ledger, date unknown. I think I've read this one in the past. Our food stocks are depleted. We've we've only the dried wolf and rabbit meat left. Largely we're left to chewing leather now. Our vests, our belts, our boots. We draw our last breaths. The Huntsman Corps managed to trap two healthy squirrels and a grey gosling, not more than ten hours ago, I'd wager. It was not nearly enough to feed all the workmen. 
The ones in the mines had to be prioritized, as expected of their labor. Despite the additional meal, their health is, is declining. We are running out of options. Furthermore, Joseph, Barda, and Jaren were taken this day. They did not go willingly. The others might still have a chance. I have to believe so for my own sake. Squirrels and a gosling. Man, I don't see squirrels and goslings. Geese. How about this? Does this do anything? This doesn't do anything if I right click. I'm guessing I have to find something to play this on. Or maybe it doesn't do anything yet. I'm just not sure. In any case, we can put this back. Oh, that, this music is entirely inappropriate to what I was just reading. Uh, so first things first, I think I'm going to try and dig out this ruin here. Starting on the top. There is a bit of dirt up here, and there might be something hidden behind it. Probably not, but there could be. So we're going to dig this out. Yeah, I don't think anything could be hidden up there. There is this food vessel here. It's probably just got some, uh, some vegetables or some grain in it. Uh -huh. Don't think I'm going to find anything else up here. Well, let's just check. Let's just be sure. And then we'll, uh, then we'll go down below and dig out the base of it. Okay. Yeah, nothing up here as expected. That's fine. Whoops. I slipped. It's okay. I'm okay, everyone. Don't worry about me. Okay, well, let's dig out the base then. You can see here that this does extend out further. So this is, uh, this is where we use up all our shovels really fast. We get this down to the ground level. And sometimes you find uh, extra vessels and stuff, and sometimes you just find the shape of the thing. So we'll see which is going to be the case this time. This is an interesting structure because it looks, it kind of looks like, like a highway or like a, like it was maybe a bridge over a moat or something. But there's nothing, it's not leading to anything, you know? You would expect to find some other structure on the other side of this. Well, nothing so far. Like, I would expect to see, uh... Well, this looks like maybe the entrance... Like, maybe there would be a castle or something right here, but there doesn't seem to be anything. Probably just because, you know, the way the game generates ruins. It can only be so big. I really hope we find something interesting in here, though. It'll be a shame if we dig all this out and it's just nothing. In any case, I do want to see what these things look like when they're, when they're cleared away. Come around. Now, it's going to be a bit of a trick here because I've got all my stuff here. So we'll just have to kind of leave it up there, I guess. That's fine. I wonder if we might find something. Yeah, the chests and the bed and stuff will all float, so that's no problem. Can I find anything down here? No, maybe not. This might just be a ruin with a little bit of food at the top. That might be all there is here. I love that these pots fall down. Uh, we could go down one more layer. Maybe I'll go down one more layer just to make sure. Oh, there's my first shovel gone. <laughs> Look how much dirt I've already got in my inventory. All right, that's it. That appears to be it. So I think all we could really get from this one is just to see the shape that it was. However, these are these are too thick. Yeah, two two pieces thick. I was saying, you know, there, there was thinking there might be uh, something inside here. Seems unlikely, though. Yeah, I don't think so. They're just solid. Okay. Well, let's put those back then. Well, we've got a ruin here. So it does look like some kind of entrance to something, and the, the rest of the structure has just been completely destroyed, it looks like. It's possible if we dug out further this way, we'd find more. Let's just go in a straight line and just see if anything pops up. I don't think they make the ruins in this game that big, though. Yeah, I don't think so. Maybe along where the wall would be. But I doubt it. No, I don't think so. Okay, so this is just a pretty ruin. Uh, we could take it, we could try to restore it at some point. That's it for that one. Let's come over here and take a look at these smaller ones over here. There's a whole bunch of smaller ones over here. And we might find something else of use. Or if not of use, of, of interest. Right? 
don't necessarily need anything of use. I'm not necessarily here for loot. I'm not coming here to grave rob these people. I just want to see what their stuff was. I want to see what they built and what they left behind here. See if we can piece together anything about their civilization. Let's be archaeologists, right? There was a time in my life when I wanted to be an archaeologist. Didn't happen. Now I'm a writer and a YouTuber, which is also fine. It's a different kind of life. Just a little bit. Alright, let's maybe go down one more layer again. It's always good to go down one more layer. As long as there's something, yeah, see? There's still more that hasn't been exposed here. Probably even go down another layer after this. There's always more to the story than you can see at first glance. It would be cool if we found some some loot of some kind, but the above ground structures usually don't have very much in terms of loot. You find the loot mostly underground, I think. Underground rooms, which are much harder to find. Oh ho ho ho! Look at this! Speaking of underground, my friends, speaking of underground. And you know what? I've got some ladders over here. Let's go and grab those. Let's do this properly, right? Let's do this proper. Go and grab some ladders. I might have to make some uh, chests, put some of this dirt in. Alright, let's grab these ladders and let's see what we got underground over here. We have a basement. I wasn't expecting to find a basement on this one. I don't think I've ever dug down far enough around these little, this, this type of uh, ruin here. Alright. Let us stick a ladder down there and do this proper. Dig away the roof here. It's just a little, just a little one. It's just a little basement. But we got something here. We've got an aged wood chair. We can take that. And a cracked farming vessel. And farming vessels usually don't have too much of interest. Got some feathers and we got some flax twine. All right. Well, nothing exciting, but still, it's still very cool. We can dig out around the top here. Now, I doubt there will be any more underground sections to this one, but I just want to get a complete picture of what this looks like. Alright, I think that'll do fine for this one. I think we've probably exposed all there is to expose. It's unlikely that we've got another basement over here. Yeah, it's probably just the one. Okay, but now we can back up a little bit. We can take a look. And, oh, there's actually... Oh, it's just forage. That's why I haven't broken it <laughs> These are interesting structures, like it looks like it's just a wall, but maybe it was like a house and the walls have just crumbled down into this. There's another one right here. Or I, th I say it's another one, it could even be part of the same structure, I'm not sure. We have to learn more about these ancient people. What happened to them, huh? What happened to these people? Where did they all go? Why are their ruins just here falling apart? Is this a part of the same ruin? Well, certainly, if, if they're not the same, then they were certainly neighbors, right? Go down one more layer. We always do, just to make sure. This is just a little pile of pile of rubble here. Doesn't seem to be anything else on this one. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's that. Little pile of rubble. Here's another little pile of rubble. This might be the same situation. There's only one way to find out, folks. All right, once again, I think it's just uh, just a little pile of rubble, really. No basement to be found in this one. Okay. We've got so many right here. We've got this one here, and this one has got some special blocks on it. Look at this. This has got, like, some polished slabs here. These are really pretty. Granite rock slab polished. I'm not sure if we can even make those. I know we can make uh, some of these things now with chisels. It takes a lot of work. Let's dig this out. We're going to be careful here. we got water next to it. We don't want to damage this old stone with water, right? So we need to be careful. This is an interesting, interestingly shaped structure. Oh, this is all, this is all one. What do we got here? Forage, just forward. This is all one structure. So this is definitely like a house. Look, we got some steps up. We got a second floor there that I fell through. This one's going to take a minute to dig out, I think. Let's do a good job on this. Right, peel it away the first layer here. Exposed quite a lot more granite. Wow, this is quite a structure, actually. There's a lot more to it than I thought. Let's go down one more layer. Regardless of whether this one has, like, a basement, um, this is still quite a really cool find here. I don't 
think I've seen a structure like this anywhere else. Go around the outside. Okay, so that's the next layer, and we can go down one more for sure. This might be, this might be the bottom. We are definitely going to check and make sure there's not a basement in this one, because this is a real good sized structure. It'd be great to see, uh, if we can find any, any remnants of the people who lived here. Dig out the entire center. Oh, look at that. There is, there is something down there. All right, well, we got our ladders. Let's, uh, climb down in here. What have we got? What have we got? We have got a large pile of junk metal. I need to get rid of some of this dirt, honestly. This is just this is just too much dirt. Nobody needs this much dirt. There's more dirt than I require. Let's pick this up. What did we get here? Metal parts. Interesting. I think there is actually a use for these now. In the game. We've got a metal torch holder, which is great. Oh, we've got an aged wooden bed! These will let me sleep for longer than the bed that I'm currently using. Sweet! This was amazing! I would like to restore this one at some point. This is, uh, this is quite a find. Awesome. Alright, let's, let's head back to base camp here. Alright, I'm gonna put all the useful stuff in here. I'm probably gonna throw away some more of this dirt, because this is... No one, no one needs as much dirt. Um, but we definitely found some useful and interesting stuff this time, which is awesome. There are still more ruins. There's at least one over there, and I think there's one more somewhere in this area. Uh, but I think... For this time, we're going to have to leave it, and we'll have to go and visit those in the next episode, because we're definitely out of time, folks. We've been going for a while. Uh, this has been fascinating and interesting and fun, and I hope you all have enjoyed it as much as I have enjoyed making it. There we go. Delicious. Uh, but I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to go for this time, and next time around we'll do a little bit more... A little bit more archaeology and see what we can find. And I also, I definitely spotted some underground ones in the caves in this area last time I was around here, so we'll definitely go and check for that as well. And that's going to be it for this episode. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you next time. What's he a student of? X, X. What's he a student of? X, X. He's a student of Minecraft. He lives in Canada. He's a really nice guy. He's a student of life. What's he a student of X?